there's on the winding cove in the edz he's currently selling the season of opulence armor set this is pretty cool armor um it is going to be limited because the gemstones actually don't change color so there is a lot of gemstones in these armor sets unfortunately i do have the only thing i have unlocked for all of these armors are is the warlock helmet <gasps> because that's the only one that i've found that i can could do something really cool funnily enough i did that last season with this video right here and yeah it's unfortunate but i would still say pick it up because if you're doing like a purple themed hunter titan or warlock this is going to be really cool because the gemstones are purple but even still just have it in collections just in case like you find something really really cool that's why i always say if you have the funds always pick up all of the armor because you might never know we're gonna stop looking at the armor set right now because <clears throat> you might never know when maybe this looks cool or randomly like this one which is this is unobtainable like ever so this is probably a bad example but like maybe maybe this is something you want to use and you do the raid for it but it's also the case of like maybe some of this that's unattainable anymore in the future i'll be able to use it so that's why i always say pick up armor if you don't have it because then you'll at least have it in the collections and if by some reason you want to use it you'll have it available um, as for the other stuff, it's going to be Nature of the Beast. I did not mean to click on it. Dragonfly and Under Pressure. That's okay, I guess. Is it 180? It's a 180? No. Uh, no reprieve. Uh, steady Hand. Snapshot Sights. I'm going to say no on this one. Big Actually. This could... Ooh. That range is pretty foul. <clears throat> uh, stability is a big ouch, though, because uh, you want at least range or handling because stability you really don't need a stability masterwork for you know a shotgun uh seventh seraph fourth times the charm and vorpal like that sounds good in theory but if this was a light frame i probably would say yes just because light frames intrinsic well i shouldn't say intrinsically but most of the time lightweights you usually get up to 40 rounds in the magazine and 40 rounds for fourth times would have been fun but on a precision, I'm gonna say no. Bug out bag with air assault and killing wind. I'm gonna say no on this one as well, just because uh, air assault's ass. Well, I, I don't use it. Uh, last man standing with opening shot and one one two punch. Uh, this is interesting. Um, <clears throat> correct me in the comments, but opening shot makes your slugs tighter, right? Or is it just you get improved? I don't know. Like I would assume it it like tightens up your your first shot right if that's the case i can see that uh, i can see this being useful because one two punch all of your pellets have to hit to get the melee damage so your first hit would be one two punch almost all the time but that's assuming that your pellets like decrease or get uh more focused i guess you would say i would still say no on this one just because th there's other perks other than opening shot that i would get over that uh code doula with quick draw Ooh, this is good is it, ooh, this is good. I would pick this up if you like to run uh really weird builds. Cause like for me, I have one with lasting impression. And what I ended up doing was I think I I don't think I have footage of it, but I'd like I like to uh tap the the boss, the, like whatever boss, like a dungeon boss, raid boss, whatever I'm doing. Not raid usually, but usually a dungeon boss with this, and then I'll go to like a secondary to do my main damage which like, for example, uh, one thing that I would do would be to combine it with, I forgot this exotic because I never really use it anymore since it's nerf, which kills me because I used to love this exotic. Um, where are you? Oh no, you're in kinetic. Izanagi's. So I would, I would proc Izanagi's for the four shot uh, hit. And then I would use the, uh, the code Dulo to tap it and then immediately sw swap out, shoot it. I would most likely get auto loading holster and lasting impression. That would be the one I would use, but quick draw is also really nice with it. Field prep and cluster bomb. It's fine. Like I'm not the biggest fan of cluster bomb anymore. I, don't, I just don't feel like it does anything anymore, but it's fine. As for the exotics, we have Hawk moon with surplus and dead man's tail with snapshot sights. And then for oh, Jade rabbit, that's going to be unfortunate because we're going to see that in iron banner a lot more than I've already seen it. Uh, worm husk crown with, decent rolls actually like like legitimately decent rolls you have an eight in resilience which will turn into a 10 when you masterwork this 
recovery at 13 i'll probably bump that up to a 23 yeah this is actually pretty decent heard of in most light this is foul definitely get this unfortunately mobility is a little too high but 2020 on discipline and recovery is really nice and then resilience is going to be up to 17 because that's what i would do definitely nice and unfortunate if that 18 was in recovery ooh, this would be a cracked roll so let's see what i actually get <clears throat> um, mask of backers huh okay like thanks i guess I'm gonna why do i have so many things on me bro this is i need to make this video but i need to talk about the negative things about uh loadouts i love loadouts don't get me wrong They're, it's super cool it's just unfortunate that because of loadouts you're you're ha you're gonna have this you're gonna have no room for anything which i think is a massive problem <clears throat> Ooh, ooh, that might be a good roll hold on let me let me show you guys instead of just saying that's a good rule let me switch this out because i'm not gonna use that exotic like ever i shouldn't say ever it's pretty it's pretty okay all right so i got i want to say i want to like actually use this because I would most likely bump up the recovery a little bit to 16 or probably ignore it and then just bump up the mobility even higher. Yeah, I, this is decent. I can definitely use this. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I have a bunch of content that I'm working on right now. The this actually this this armor set should have already came out. So if you guys want to check it out, we already have the review up. We already have the shaders up and the hunter one's already done. I just have to edit the video. So let me know what you guys think. It's going to be a lot of fun pumping out a lot of this content because, again, I have a lot to work with. Not only that, my second channel has started to get more content as well. I'm currently finishing up Resident Evil 3. Uh, I started Ratchet & Clank uh, Rift, Rift Apart, is it called? Um, There's another. Oh, Dead Island 2. We're going to be working on Atomic Heart. There, there's just a bunch of content on the other channel. So if you guys want to check out some non Destiny 2 related content, make sure to go over there. Street Fighter 6 is also something I'm going to be starting. I should have started it sooner, but I've been having issues with recording it. But it really is like that. It'd be like that. So other than that, be safe. I will see y'all later. <laughs>